yeah hi guys welcome to rodha and we are continuing functions here okay so in this video we'll be seeing some important functions okay and their general solutions right so we'll see uh general solutions of few important functions okay of few important functions we'll see right for example a type of function is okay a type of function is you will see this in many questions f of x plus y is equal to f of x plus f of y okay so the general solution for such kind of equation is f of x is equal to kx right means when you see this kind of equation this is basically what this is basically linear equation okay this is basically or you can say linear function right so general solution is fx is equal to kx right now you uh, i'll tell you how it comes out obviously right i'll tell for one or two functions okay but for now you have to remember this right you have to remember this okay now see second function is let's say uh, f of x plus y is equal to f of x plus f of y okay now this kind of function if you see this is f of x is equal to its general solution is f of x is equal to a raised to x okay f of x f of x is equal to a raised to x where obviously a is more than 0 so such function if you see these are what these are exponential functions okay exponential functions these are fine okay third kind of function if you see f of x y is equal to f of x plus f of y okay so when you see this kind of function is basically log function okay general solution is f of x is equal to sum k into log x this is the general solution okay and this is basically log function log function okay this kind of function right now fourth one f of x y is equal to f of x into f of y okay so it's f of x y is equal to f of x into f of y ha huh. now this kind of function is basically of the form its general general solution is f of x is equal to x raised to n okay so f of x is equal to x raised to n right now fifth function one more variety okay when we have this kind of function f of x into f of 1 by x right that is equal to f of x plus f of 1 by x so if we have this kind of functions its general solution is f of x is equal to x raised to n plus 1 this is the general solution okay f of x is equal to x raised to n plus 1 these five functions which basically should remember right is very important to remember it okay now i'll tell you what is the meaning behind it right what is the meaning of it this suppose we are writing that function first function no okay for let's say i'll first prove one 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 or two okay so we are writing that first function right f of x plus y is equal to f of x plus uh, sorry f of x plus f of y okay this was the first function we had written fine and we write we wrote its general solution is general solution is how much f of x is equal to kx now what does this mean actually right this is the first function okay so what does this mean actually right it means that if i put some if i put some values here right if i put some values here and try to get some patterns so let's say i put some values here i start with x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 okay then what is what will get here if i put it here okay i'll get f of 1 plus 1 that is f of 2 is equal to f of 1 plus f of 1 that is equal to twice f1 so what i got f of 2 is equal to twice f1 right same way in second step let's say i put x equal to 2 y equal to 1 then this equation becomes now 
f of 2 plus 1 is now f of 3 and is equal to f of 2 plus f of 1 is equal to f of 2 plus f of 1 and we already have this f of 2 as f of 2 is what f of 2 is twice of f1 so twice of f1 plus f1 becomes thrice of f1 getting it right so what what i told here it's general surgery is some fx equal to kx this is a linear function i'm getting right this is the linear function i'm getting so twice f2 equal to twice f1 f3 equal to thrice f1 so fx equal to some k into x this is a general solution right same again prove for the other also right means i'm not going to prove all but yeah i should remember all this function for example let's say uh, one I had written f of x okay into f of uh, 1 by x okay is equal to f of x plus f of 1 by x now its general solution is what I told you it is f of x is equal to x raised to n plus 1 that means a polynomial right so it's a polynomial Okay, some x raised to n plus 1, right? So if it is given like suppose fx is a third degree polynomial, we'll do a question also on this, right? We'll do a question also. Okay. Polynomial. Let's say satisfying this. Okay. So if fx is a third degree polynomial satisfying this, right? So we should write okay, f of x is equal to ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d. And then we want f of 1 by x also. So f of 1 by x will be equal to a by x cube plus b by x square plus c by x plus d. Correct. Now, if we try to put the if we try to put the values here, right? So in the main equation, if we try to plug in the values, okay. So it should be like uh, this. This basically becomes this becomes 1 by x cube I take as common. Okay, and I'm just proving it right. This is the this is the this is the equation we need to remember. Okay, and I'm just proving it right for a few steps. Okay, so one by x cube is what a plus b x plus c x square plus d x cube. Okay, this f of one by x is f x. Ah, now I'll try to put this in main equation actually. Okay, so I'll try to put f x and f of one by x here in the main equation f of 1 by x and f x right so what does my equation become actually so once you solve it right and after uh, once you solve uh, put these values here and you take the uh, coefficients you make the coefficients equal at last you will get that f of x is uh, sorry uh, at last you will get that some uh, f x is equal to actually you got at last after solving you got fx equal to 1 plus x cube, right? This is what I got after solving, right? You got, got the funda, fx value you put here and here, and f of 1 by x value you put here and here. And try to equate the coefficients, so at last you'll get the value of what? You'll get fx equal to 1 plus x cube. That, that, that proves that if it's a third degree polynomial, I can simply put n equal to 3. So what is n here? n is the degree of polynomial here. n is degree of polynomial here, right? So this few general functions to remember it. This will be very useful actually, right? For example, we'll do a few questions right to understand this pattern. Okay. So there's a question here. Okay, come to question. So let's say first question is category, right? Now question is, fx is a cubic polynomial function. Okay, satisfying the condition, satisfying the condition f of x into f of 1 by x is equal to f of x plus f of 1 by x. Ah. Obviously, where x is not equal to 0. Okay, and f of 4 is given as 65, right? So we need to find the value of f of 12. We need to find the value of f of 12, okay? So once I read this question here, so I'll try to relate this, right? This general form, fx into f of 1 by x is equal to this much, right? So what is the general solution? So general solution, 
for such question is f of x is equal to x raised to n plus 1 f of x is equal to x raised to n plus 1 and since it's a third degree pol pol polynomial cubic polynomial so n should be equal to 3 so fx is equal to what it should be x cube plus 1 so fx should be equal to x cube plus 1 right okay then I can simply put the values here right nothing to do in this so So we'll just try to put the values here. So we have got here f4 equal to 65. I'll simply put x equal to 4 here. So if I put x equal to 4, I'll get f of 4. Okay. Yeah. f of 4 is equal to 4 cube plus 1. Right. That is equal to 65 given. Fine. This is given already. Huh. So if we try to put the value here, that fx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 and f4 is given as 65. Correct. Then what is the value of f12? So value of f12 should be how much? It is what? x cube plus 1, no? Right, that is 12 cube plus 1. 12 cube is 1728. 1728 plus 1, that is 1729 should be the answer. Right? This should be the answer of this question. Okay, I hope it is clear, right? Okay, so this this is where we can use it like a shortcut, right? Directly plug in the values. Okay, when you have this kind of function, okay, general general function for which solution you already know. Okay, then directly you can put the value and find the answer for it, right? Okay. Now let's move to next question here. One more similar variety we can do actually, right? We just give you a good feel about it. Okay. So if I put the values again, okay. And let's say I read here, fx is a fourth degree polynomial. Fourth degree polynomial. Okay. And uh, in this, satisfying the condition, obviously, satisfying the condition condition f of x plus f of 1 by x is equal to f of x into f of 1 by x right so if f of 3 if f of 3 is equal to 82 then we need to find the value of f of 5 Right, so again, same question almost, right? Just to give you a good feel about it. Okay, so what is the general solution? So general solution is basically f of x is equal to x raised to n plus one. This is the general solution, right? So it's, it's a four degree polynomial. So obviously n is equal to four, right? So I can simply, so obviously it is given that f3 is 42. So it's correct only, right? f of three is equal to 3 raised to 4 plus 1 that is 82 so because it's a 4 degree polynomial so n is equal to 4 so what is the value of f5 here so f5 should be equal to or you can make uh, yeah f of 5 should be equal to 5 raised to 4 plus 1 that is equal to 626 so 626 should be the answer for this question correct 5 raised to 4 plus 1 626 right so i hope it is clear okay the general form should be clear right Okay, let's go to next one now. Okay, so next question here. See this. F of x plus y is equal to f of x into f of y. Okay. F of 4 is given as 4096. So I need to find the value of f of uh, 10 here. Okay. So what is the value of f of 10 here? Right, this is the question. So same funda right so what is the f, f of x plus y is equal to f of x into f of y okay so what is the general solution for this so general solution for such kind of equation we have seen earlier that is f of x is equal to a raised to x okay a raised to x right okay a is anything any constant right so we have here we have here f of 4 
is equal to a raised to 4 that is equal to 4096 and if you observe what is 4096 actually so it is actually 2 raised to 12 this so 4096 is what 2 raised to 12 right that means a raised to 4 is equal to 2 raised to 12 therefore a will be equal to what 2 cube so i got the value of a cube therefore a is equal to 8 so what i need to find here i need to find the value of f10 here what is f10 so f of 10 is equal to f of 10 is equal to a raised to 10 that is 8 raised to 10 okay that is 2 raised to 30 so answer for this question should be 2 raised to 30 right so just a general solution for such questions right okay fine So obviously, right, you can have, uh, you can easily prove these ones also, right, there's nothing, uh, 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 nothing to, uh, like, uh, remember very much, right, means if you remember these five uh, kind of equations, it's quite simple, right, otherwise, you can just put some value, plug in some values, x equal to 1, y equal to 1, h2 and y1, and see what pattern is going on, I'll observe that, there's a pattern going on, fx is equal to a raised to x, okay, now, let's continue this in the next video, thank you for watching.